Hi there, this is Roddy, Amber's Knight, coming at you with another video. Uh, I just wanted to throw this out as a little fun thing, um, see what kind of replies I get on this. Uh, as the title, rather put in the title these days, it alludes to, um, do you use music uh, in the background when you play? And if so, what sort of music do you use? Um, do you use music for atmosphere to a game? Do you use it uh, as period music for a game? Or do you just like to have an album or two of whatever playing in the background just as you're playing? Um, for myself, it comes into the, the first two categories. Uh, I do use music a lot in my games. I like to have it on in the background. I don't like songs. Um, it's not because I have any problem with songs, it's because if I hear people singing, it's more voices uh, to filter out. Um, so I tend not to like voices. Although I have no problem with Gregor uh, Gregorian chants um, and that sort of thing. But modern day music, I tend not to have playing uh, too much uh, in terms of albums and songs. Um, not all the time, sometimes it, it can work, but not all the time. But I, I, I like having um, music that's atmospheric. Uh, if I'm uh, doing a horror game, I like to have sort of dark, ominous music going on. Uh, Gregorian chants actually work very well. I think it's the whole omen thing. Um, I think the omen made sort of that sort of, I, I suppose you could call biblical music, um, very, very eerie and, and sort of unsettling. Um, so, strangely, for a horror game, I, I find uh, Gregorian chants very effective. Um, I also like a lot of classical music and film scores, be it for Atman atmosphere, be it horror, be it fantasy, sci-fi, modern day action game. And then there are other pieces of music I like to use for period pieces. Um, Call of Cthulhu, for example, if I'm setting it in the classic period of the 20s, I like to have a lot of jazz and ragtime playing because it's musically appropriate um, for the period. Um, similarly, with a game like Castle Falkenstein because it's set Victorian times. Uh, classical music really comes to the fore. Uh, I like to have chamber music. Um, that's very good because it's the sort of thing you could imagine playing a little four-piece chamber orchestra, playing in a ball, and it works very effectively. It's very atmospheric. Um, so I like it for mood and atmosphere, and I also like it for period pieces. Uh, it gives a, a sort of flavour and background to the time period. Really. So I throw it out to you guys. Um, do you use music? What kind of music do you use? Um, so come back. It's fun. Let's just, you know, throw it open. If your idea of, you know, a, a good nice gaming is listening to you know, the latest R&B or the latest heavy metal or, you know, latest folk music that's going on. Whatever it is, um, do you play it because it's a sort of party atmosphere that you're creating and it's a good time and you like to have the beer and the pretzels and the, the music going on and a nice atmosphere? Or do you use it as atmosphere for the game? So, yeah, come on back.